guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick workout that is for figure skaters. But of course if you're not a figure skater, you're welcome to do this workout as well. We're going to be working a lot of those muscle groups that we don't usually work out on the ice but are still super important, which are going to be our hamstrings, our abs, and our arms. So if you're ready, let's go! All right, so we're gonna start off with our arms, just making them tired before this whole workout. And we're gonna start off with small circles one way, and then we'll do the other way. And you can sit in whatever position you would like to. I am sitting in an easy pose because it's the most comfortable for me, but you can sit on your knees, you can stand up, doesn't matter. Now we're going the other way. Small circles. Making sure your stomach is in, your shoulders are down, your posture is really nice here. Now we're going to go for big circles, really going around, still keeping that posture, stomach in and nice and tight. Good, and we're gonna go the other way. Still keeping the nice form. You can follow the arms with your head if you'd like. Trying to make our hands very nice and balletic here. Good, your arms must be burning now. And we're gonna go up and down for swan arms. Really nice and elegant, so don't swing your arms up. And don't forget about that posture, nice form, stomach in. Good, keep going, we're almost done with the arms. Good. Feel that burn. I know I was feeling it. And slowly down, controlled. Shake them out. Do a little stretch if you need to. And we're going to continue with our arms, but we're going to add a little ab workout to it. So we're going to go in a plank, making sure our butt is down. And we're going to bring our knee up to almost to our head. And then we're going to stretch it up keeping the foot flexed when we stretch it up. Good. Head to knee, head to knee, keeping that butt down, really keeping that belly button in. Now we're just gonna go up and down, toe pointed, keeping that plank form, belly button tucked in, head nice and straight. Don't wanna slouch here. Now we're going to come down onto a push-up. You can put your knee down if it's too hard. And we're just going to go up and down with our leg, really feeling it in our hamstrings. Your body can be all the way on the ground, or you can keep it a little bit lifted like I am, however is comfortable for you. Just really make sure you're stretching your leg and pointing the toe here. Good, we're going to bend and stretch it here. And we're keeping it slightly in the air, so lifting that leg a little bit. Toe is nice and pointed here. Good, stretching that knee all the way. And we're gonna bend that knee and just come for little pulses. Up, up, up. Toe pointed still, working that calf. And we're gonna come up and we're gonna stretch the knee, come on all fours and just go do nice push-ups here. If you wanna do a little bit more advanced, you can lift your foot and do a full push-up, but here we're just doing a moderate push-up. Good, now down and release, come to child's pose. Really relaxing here, catching our breath. This is a strengthening workout, but you have a lot of cardio elements. 
Good, now come up. And we're gonna repeat this all on the other side. So first come to the plank and we're just gonna meet our knee with our head and then flexing it, stretching it back up. Good, meet that head with the knee. Belly button tucked in, butt under. Don't wanna lift your butt in the air here. And keep it stretched, and we're just gonna go up and down, up and down. Stretch leg, pointed toe. Still keeping that nice plank form here. Perfect, now come down to a push-up, and let's continue with those leg lifts. So stretching your leg, pointing your toe, Now bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Good, keep going. Really stretching that knee all the way, keeping that toe nice and pointed. And let's come to pulses, bend that knee and up, up, up. Good, come up, lift that leg up, and let's come for those easy push-ups. Well, maybe not so easy. And we're just doing eight. Everything here we're doing is either in two sets of eight or just eight. Good, come down. Let's come back to that child's pose, catching our breath, and just a little break, relaxation. And we're gonna come up and we're gonna slowly come to the ground. We're gonna continue on our hamstrings. So get comfortable. We're gonna bring our legs hip width and we're just gonna lift our butt up and down. Really squeezing it up as we go up, making sure that our butt is tucked in so we're not putting any tension on the lower back here, any straining. And now we're going to lift the toes up and same thing, lifting those hips up. Good, now we're gonna keep those hips up and just toes up, heels up, up, up. Nice toe lifts here. Good, come down. And we're gonna come on one leg and we're just gonna bend it, coming down and then stretching, coming up. Good, keeping that toe pointed and stretching it all the way as you come up. And we're gonna lift the toe as we do this as well. So hips up, toes up. I know this is really hard, so if you need to take a break, please do come back when you're ready. And we're just gonna lift the heel up and down now, keeping those hips up, stretching the free leg. And now come down, and we're gonna keep that leg stretched and we're really concentrating here on our extension. So really just concentrate on keeping that knee nice and stretched. This is really important with your lines and extensions on the ice. Good, keep that toe pointed as well. And we're gonna do some ab exercises now. So we're just gonna go up and down, hands behind our head, keeping that leg stretched. Really, really, really important to learn how to stretch your leg nicely. Good, up and down. This is really working your lower abs as well.
Now we're gonna stretch the other leg and we're gonna come for small pulses. If it's too hard, keep that other leg down. And we're gonna come for quick scissors, keeping that head up. If it's too hard, keep the head down. And let's come down. Let's come for those hip thrusts again. So we're just going up and down. And we're just gonna bend the leg, stretch it up. Bending and stretching, bending and stretching. Good, now we're gonna lift that toe and same thing, down and up, down and up. And we're just gonna lift the heel up and down now, keeping those hips in the air, stretching that free leg as much as you can. I know it hurts. Good, now foot down and we're gonna work on that extension. So just up and down, really concentrating on that knee stretch. I know it hurts, but keep going, keep to pointing that toe. Good, stomach is in here as well. Hands behind our head. And we're just gonna go up and down, keeping that leg in the air, stretching it as much as we can, pointing the toe. And if you want, you can open up that hip, really working on our hip flexors and making our hips more flexible. Good, now we're gonna stretch the other leg and just pulses, stretching the both legs as much as you can, pointing those toes. And let's come for scissors. We are almost finished, we're almost there. Just keep going. Good, and down. And just breathe out. We're gonna make our body super long here, catching our hands and stretching our legs. Good, we're gonna come for a hamstring stretch. So really, really nice stretch here. You can grab wherever you want, your toes, your foot, your calf, your thigh. And let's bring it to the side. Good, let's come to the other side. So first just the hamstring stretch. Just really stretching your knee here. And now come to the side. And let's roll up, come for a few more stretches. And let's stretch our arms. Let's stretch it the other way. Let's stretch our quad, bringing the leg back. You can lay down in this position or you can stay up like me. And let's bring it around and come for cow face, my favorite. And just go down with the body. Now come up and let's go to the other side with the quad stretch. Bring it around, stack it up on the other knee, and down. Good, come up. And we are finished for today. I hope you guys liked that video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at SoFootUpBar. So until next time, guys, bye!